Welcome back to the channel. Well, this video is all about how to test your Netlify CMS configuration locally so you don't waste your Netlify allowance just getting your CMS settings set up. This video, it's assume you've got the latest version of Hugo installed and Visual Studio Code set up. With this example, I'll be using Hugo. However, you can use any static site generator you like. It's also assumed you've got a Netlify CMS project set up or you can download my example from the link in the description. However, you will need to have Hugo installed locally. If you need help installing Hugo, I've got the link above. I've got a video all about that. Before we start, a quick message from this video sponsor. As a Skillshare teacher, I've partnered up with them to offer you a free one month trial using my links below. I personally produce full length Hugo courses on Skillshare and there are many other great teachers on Skillshare ready to help you level up your skills for your next big project. Click on the links below to explore my courses and get a one month free trial, you can cancel at any time. You'll also be supporting this channel. So if you haven't got your own Netlify CMS project already set up and running, you can download a link to this project that I'm using as an example in the description below. What's important is in the static folder, we've got our admin folder and we've got a index.html and we've got a config.html. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our config.html we're going to add a config, some configuration so that we can run the Netlify local server. That way, when we go to make some edits, we can actually see that everything works properly. So I'm on the docs page for Netlify CMS in the beta features section, and I've left a link for this in the description below. What we're doing is we're using the feature of working with a local Git repository. So what we have to do is we have to add the local backend true option. So I'll paste that in up near the top and I'll add a comment for local testing and then we'll paste in the command as well. So here's the command we have to run. NPX uses NPM but actually downloads the package for you on the spot. It means you don't have to install it into your project. I probably wouldn't recommend installing it into your project because it's not something you'll be using often. You probably just use it once or twice to test your setup. Then I'll save it. Then what we'll do, we'll open up a new terminal and we'll run the Netlify command. It'll probably ask us to download a package and that's all right. So that's running. I don't have to, I've already downloaded the package before, so it doesn't ask you to download it again. Then what we'll do is we'll create a, another new terminal and we'll run Hugo server. So you have to run the two servers, the static site generator server. In this case, it's Hugo. doesn't matter which static site generator you're using. And I've also got the Netlify server running. Because we've got the local backend configuration entry in, it means Netlify will look for the local server on that port. And if you navigate to the admin page for your site, It'll automatically log you in, and from there you can actually check that your configuration works and you don't have to wait for it to upload to Netlify and rebuild. You get instant feedback so you don't waste your Netlify allowance just getting your configuration entries correct. You can go through and test everything out. I've just put the one page in there as an example. You can modify that to suit your own needs. Change text and any of the fields and save it and it will actually interact with the files locally and you can see how your configuration is going to work when you actually hit the publish button. So that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed that. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification button as I do release videos every week based on static web design and Hugo. And if you've got any comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.